My name is The Street, and that's the, also my artist name. And it's the name I use back home. Uh, I have other names or other Dutchman names, Kabat. But everyone in my country calls me The Street. I'm a self-taught artist, creative artist. Uh, mostly my talent is in drawing and installation. Uh, but I found out that I'm good at drawing at the age of seven. So since then I've been drawing. So uh, that you know when you're still young, you don't have any inspiration. You just draw what is around you. And so far, that's what I've been doing. After not joining university at, uh, after high school, I, des I decided to go back to drawing because I didn't have money to join university. And the inspiration was still not there, I was just drawing and giving out the sketches of my work. Then, until a certain level, someone advised me to visit an art studio in my town, where I decided also to draw more for the people. Then I realized that they are selling my drawing sketches for commercial purposes, and that's how I, that was my initial inspiration to join the field of art, knowing that, yeah, maybe I can live on art. The end of year 2008 was hard. I had saved some money and I joined the art school in the capital of Uganda. And my initial idea was working with different youth who didn't also have a chance to go to school like me. Uh, but they are more in poetry, rap music, and they also dance. So that year I was working with them and we wanted to to connect with different cultures. Uh, the country I come from, we cannot, uh, 100 kilometers away, it's a different culture totally. So it's hard to connect with those people. The city made us close that those other cultures, those people from different regions who join in those slum area community meetings. Then we realized we spoke the same language, but we, don't, we didn't understand each other. And that language was art. There were dancers, I was painting and drawing, so at some point we could communicate, we like we like to be al alongside each other all the time. So the idea came from there that maybe we should, because we come from a small country but different cultures, the idea came from them, but maybe if we moved to another country, like we started with Rwanda, then we wanted to go to Congo and we moved far south of Africa, I'm from Uganda, so if we moved far south of Africa using our arts and culture, it would be easier to connect to different communities. And maybe what we do, we thought and we believed that what we are doing was new. So we started, we started with Chigali, then one week later we went to Congo. Then one year later we decided, we say maybe we go far away on another continent. And that's how we started going to the European continent. The inspiration of my art is normal, it's the surrounding and uh, the feeling. With my work and the creativity, I bring it to Cologne, like the in-house always welcomes me, it's my home in Cologne. So with my work, I want always to share the stories and topic and I just put my work on the wall uh, because just it's to me, or oh, to the eyes, it looks just like colors, but to me, and the character which inspired me to create it, it's a big story, so the whole collection of paintings or his show, like an album of a, a musical album, like a musician can create an album of 18 songs, but each song is a, like a, a story in a book. The purpose of an artist creating work is not to sell it, but it's also to share the story behind the artworks to the audience. So I bring my exhibition and paintings to small venues and places to connect with people to and like to, to to read my story with the people. I wish people could come and see the paintings every time I'm around somewhere. I wish people could come to me and ask, yeah, what's the story behind the painting? Connect with my work. That's always my dream. Like everyone should connect with my work, and that's why I got the smallest person on the ground. <laughs>